Hey, welcome to Comfortable Shoes Studio. I'm Wes, and this is a little art with me segment where I am making some gel prints on a gel plate using found objects. So um, I didn't record everything here, but um, I'm using really, really thin layers of black with bright, bold colors. And the found objects I am using in this case are um, cans that I found on my walks. So those have been pressed into the black and then I'm doing a little bit of a rainbow fade here of red and yellow. Rolling that out and then I'm gonna put, I'm also um, be, trying to be a little more deliberate with how I clean my brayer. So I'm trying to get for a good transfer of that first dried black layer, a really thin even coat. And that's the key for lifting a dried layer of paint is a thin even layer. Um, and you see that I am lifting my gel plate up and then placing it onto the paper. Um, this allows me to position the gel plate exactly where I want it. And I do this by fixing my gel plate to a uh, 12 by 12 sheet of acetate. So all of my gel plates, both at home and in the classroom, always live on a sheet of acetate. And you can see that this sheet of acetate is covered in paint. The kids get paint on it. I get paint on it. Um, you could also just leave the original sheet of, of acetate that the gel plates arrive on, on the back of your gel plate, and that'll work too. Um, also, I've found that it helps to leave the plate on uh, your paper for a longer period of time than you think, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, as long as you can be patient and wait, leave it, go get a cup of coffee, drink the coffee, then come back and peel it. And I get better results when I leave that, um, um, you know, paper on there for as long as possible. Um, and, and I, then I peel the plate off the paper instead of peeling the paper off the plate. This also reduces the amount of like roll in the paper. So the paper doesn't curl as much. Um, here I'm experimenting with rolling paint onto the cans instead of um, instead of pressing them in. And I, I did not like this as much. I'm using um, my plate as an ink slab and just using my rollers. These are ge just generic uh, speedball soft rubber rollers. Those are my favorites uh, for rolling out onto a relief surface like this. Uh, that said, not I. This was not my my favorite thing. And I'm trying to. I'm pushing, pushing the can into the paint, um, and then pressing it onto. And again, I was less happy with this um, than I thought it was going to be. It's a fun process, like rolling stuff onto surfaces and then pressing that into your gel plate, is a is a nice process. Uh, it just didn't work for me. I didn't I didn't like it very much. So um, these cans were picked up on my walks and then um, washed carefully and dried. Um, so anyway, that's the, the process. I did a whole series of uh, prints like this. Really like it. I got some really cool stuff. Probably going to do more of it. Um, but yeah, this is sped up a little bit. So thank you for watching. And I hope you, you know, try pushing some garbage onto your gel plate and have some fun. Uh, thank you, and thank you for your support and the views and all of that fun stuff. I'll see you next time. Bye.